Devonte, the one first time on the channel. Welcome, man. So, um, I was looking at some other reaction channels, seeing what they are into, you know what I'm saying? And I come across this one animator who seems pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I give the man his props, you know what I'm saying? He, he gets the edits on down. I watch a couple videos. He's entertaining. He's funny. And you already know that's what I enjoy. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and comment. You guys see the next reaction. And now let's hop right into the reaction. Let's get it. So I'm hyping myself up like, okay, I can do this, right? I've been eating Arby's for years. I got this. What does Arby's have to do with this? Uh, start out with the regular show, okay? The regular show now you're intro. Probably wondering why is this? Hey, I just used this music. Large fry, extra salt, two Ew. bites away from diabetes, dreadlocks in his head. Are you Story so personal, so openly. Well, if you take a look at my track record of personal memories I told to the world, then you'd have a clear understanding of how not afraid I am of telling the world my mistakes and flaws. Now, I don't tell my experience with girl stories as much as I used to these days, but I did a poll last week, and the streets were hungry. So, uh, yeah. Let me feed my hungry demographic real quick. So about seven months ago, at the start of January 2021, I had a falling out with a girl that I had been technically dating for a while. We're gonna use her nickname I gave her, Cookie. It's actually mind blowing how we met, but that's for another story. I say okay. technically dating because me and her made it clear that we were just in a talking phase, but that's cap, cause we didn't do talking phase stuff. We did relationship stuff. The now even though phase. we fell out, I can honestly say with the all due respect that she earned from me, I have nothing bad to say about her because she treated me better than any female I had experienced before her. She was patient, she was nurturing, kind, submissive, loyal, a super freak, all the above. Except for the reason I had to let her go. But that's a discussion for another day. Yeah, she this may have got like five like stars on this one girl. Hundred percent eye candy. Boy. Not built I like still me love too. her though, cause she was a rare Pokemon that I was fortunate enough to find. Oh my Bella God, I want to play Pokemon. Cuck. Simp. Ten year old keyboard warrior, that's facts. Toes. Red pill or get spilled, chump. You not alpha. Back then, we both went to separate colleges in the same city. So whenever Why are you I had talking? time, she always wanted me to come see her and spend the night in her dorm. Oh, Plus, cook we cookie were like that. So we had Got a routine. You. And that was if we weren't going out to do so, I'd cook up I eat, five why. for a couple hours. Then around nighttime, she'd cook us both food. Then she'd throw on some easy access clothes, i.e. booty shorts. Then we'd Netflix <laughs> and chill in her bed with my power pole brushed up against her, um, butt meat. And this <laughs> usually resulted in her being down for anything because she was a freak. And I was too. One day during our routine, after getting nasty a little bit, she decided that she wants me to eat that macaroni in her pot for the first time. Which is cool and all, cause she said she'd caress my Dragon Balls and summon Shinron after, but no <laughs> problem. At the time, I had zero experience swimming through Niagara Falls. Why? Because in my very small number of previous relationships and women experiences, they never cared about me doing it anyway. None of them. They were more in love with just summoning my Keyblade and sending me to the Shadow Realm, which was <laughs> fine with me, cause that's one less task in Wall Maria I gotta worry about. Why? Cause for some reason, at the time when it came down to using my mouth to drink from a girl's river i just didn't have any interest in doing it anyway why because for some reason something always gave me the chills just looking at it i know it's mandatory if she's gonna stroke my power pole with her gums but i, I just don't know why maybe salami sandwiches freak me out maybe i was <laughs> as salami as sandwiches I I was back then I, I just don't know why maybe i was just in my head too much Paranoid, maybe? When she gave me access to do it and asked me if I did it before, I was nervous because females that already are experienced don't like unexperienced men. Am I You're right? You're not ladies? wrong. So I did what any idiot secretly folding under applied pressure because he doesn't want to mess up. You lie. With you lie right to her face. On act. Exactly. I, I ate a couple honey pots in the past. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? We already experienced with that. I had to make up my mind quick because we were already in the mood. It was getting hot in there. No Nelly. I had a mouthful of her chicken breast. She was looking like the Pacific Ocean down there. Plus, to her, based off of the stuff we did two minutes ago, it looked like I had experience in that field of study before. And I didn't want to disappoint her and look like a bee. Yatch. Cause mama ain't raised no B yatch. 
But then I had a brain blast and remembered that in moments like these, yeah, the only Neutron. thing you should focus on is pleasuring your partner, i.e. making them explode. That changed my whole <laughs> mindset. The mission now was to focus on her not turning into the Sahara Desert by making her water dam explode. So I put my pride to the side and got ready to jump off the plane into the ocean. And mind you, this is my first time ever taking a trip down to Dooney Land with my eating hole. And I think I'm not, not my eating this. hole. I'm just doing what I gotta do. So I'm hyping myself up like, okay, I can do this, right? I've been eating Arby's for years. But what did Arby's have to do with it? Like, stop being a little puh and man up and eat that puh. Ah, that's he. Shorts come off. I took in a deep breath and started the kisses from the thighs and made my way down to the gulag. So, how did I do? How did I do? Goodness, you love your twitching. 15,000. That was literally her answer. Oh, <laughs> dang. Serious. Bruh, I was feeling like the man <laughs> when I got through. I wouldn't stun with nobody was saying when I got through. I even had her staring when I got through. I really felt bad for the next guy who looked at me funny because I felt like I was invincible. You sure about that? After growing some, <laughs> you're not that guy, bro. You're just not that guy. Out of my mind, that shouldn't have been there in the first place. In the first 20 seconds of me being in the gulag, bro, she turned into a turned Pokemon. I, it would be. I mean, it tasted like skin, duh. But I was focused on the mission, making her C4 explode, which was hard at first. But when I found her spot. It was game over. I turned it game into a sport at over. that point, which was good for me because I'm already competitive at heart. Plus, I had a lot of stamina, so you already know how that went. You know what I'm saying? You can already mm -hmm. hear all the poor souls that haven't watched the full video and only clips of this video on different platforms thinking I'm actually talking about video games like, What is he talking about? What tastes like skin in Warzone? I'm so confuzzled. <laughs> oh, brother. Right after, she kept her promise, told me to lay back, extended my dual disc, activated her Millennium Puzzle, and did what it do, sent me to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, listen, uh, okay, check it, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. First time reacting to DTO, I don't wanna react to some more. I really don't wanna stop, but I gotta stop today. Everybody tryna get in my way. If you want more, comment down below. Everybody really don't know where to go. I'll tell you next to the video. Link in the description, yo. And hey, let's get it, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoy it.